Hi guys, it's Cabal, and in this video, we're going to cover the level 50 Paladin abilities and related topics. I managed to hit level 50 by grinding fates in Mordana. This immediately unlocked the Circle of Scorn Gladiator ability. Circle of Scorn is an AoE attack ability that applies a 15 second dot to all nearby targets. Much like Spirits Within, Circle of Scorn also doesn't share the global cooldown. This means that you can weave it into your combos very easily. I created an AoE macro that keeps Circle of Scorn on cooldown and also casts Flash. The first thing that I did after hitting level 50 was do the Paladin quest Keeping the Oath in order to unlock the level 50 Paladin ability, Hallowed Ground. It is an instance quest. In the first part, you kill a manipulated eye and a manipulated ogre. There wasn't much to it. In the second part, you help Genlin's straight blade kill the Death's Embrace Master. This mainly consisted of killing waves of various types of adds as they spawned, and then finishing the Death's Embrace Master off. It was pretty straightforward. After turning this quest in, it unlocks the Paladin Hallowed Ground ability. Hallowed Ground is a defensive ability that makes you immune to most attacks, and it has a lengthy 6 minute cooldown. It goes without saying that Hallowed Ground is a great emergency ability, one example of where I used Hallowed Ground was during the Ultimate Weapon Instance Raid quest. Right after I died, a healer resurrected me. When I was resurrected, I had very little health, so I would have otherwise died instantly if I hadn't cast Hallowed Ground right away. Let's now talk just a little bit about acquiring the Magitek Armor Mount. This involved doing the instance quest, Rock the Castrum. This is an eight-man raid party. I ended up main tanking most of the bosses during the raid. All the trash and boss fights in this raid were very simple and required very little explanation. After turning in Rock the Castrum, it then unlocked another raid quest called The Ultimate Weapon. This was a lengthy raid quest, and there were a lot of trash pulls and bosses, but none of the bosses were very difficult, and I ended up off-tanking the entire time. The actual fight with the ultimate weapon was pretty easy, and the final boss, I think it's pronounced Lahabria, had a lot of AoE attacks, but from a tanking standpoint, it wasn't very difficult. Upon turning in the ultimate weapon, you receive an item called an Armor Identification Key. When you use it, it will unlock the Magitek Armor Mount. You can find the mount by going to Actions and Traits, and then clicking on the Mounts tab, and you should be able to see it there. As you can see, the Magitek Armor Mount is very stylish. And that's all we're going to cover in this video. Thanks for watching.